Ho! Oh. Hey guys, I'm Sarah's Knight, and I'm back with part, um, five. Yeah, part five of, uh, Let's Play Fatal Frame 2. I'm sorry guys, I just got back from working all night, and I took melatonin to help me sleep better just now, so I might be drifting in and out of consciousness even as I play. Anyway, uh, we just got the, uh, Shadow key, light key. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm really not doing well already in this uh, episode. Uh, yeah, we just got the shadow key or the light key. One of those two keys that opens the cell door. And I assume in there somewhere. Or maybe we got both of them. Did we get both of them? It was just like four or five days ago that I did the last episode. Yep, here we go. We got both of them. So let's just go back to the cell door and unlock it. Mayu, please try to keep up. Mayu? Are you there? Funny how she's not yelling at me to wait this time. Discard that. I knew. I knew. Oh, whoa. I think. I think my sister's a ghost. I think she just faded into the cell with me. I'm pretty sure she did not walk behind me through the door like a normal person. On the table, lit faintly by the paper shade lamp, there's some red stained writing paper. Okay, what does it say? There's a Japanese girl doll looking this way. Really? The key to huh? Who? What? It's your soccer house. Well, I don't even know where he was. Okay, there's obviously something important in here. And it must be this. Type 90 film. Cool. Isn't there more to this? Um, I, no, I didn't just grab those two keys for some ammunition. Oh, here we go. There's more back here. The inside of the tree is hollow. A wooden key is inside. Hammer key. There we go. We can finally freaking leave this place. And very conveniently, we found the map to the Osaka house, and we're about to go back there, so... Cool. She said something about the inside of a tree? That's where I found the key? I don't see a tree in here. Or even a stump. Uh, whatever. Oh, uh, so there's uh, writing on the bookshelves, I thought as much. Folklorist 10. About the Twin Shrine Maidens. Twin Shrine Maidens are sacrificed in the Crimson Sacrifice Ritual. Boys are sometimes used as well. In this case, they are called Altar Twins. The people of this region before... Oh, pff, excuse me. The people of this region believe that twins were once a single being, which was split into two at birth. The ceremony is based on the belief that when the two bodies are reunited as one, the Shrine Maiden will gain the power of a deity. The text says, the older sister must the younger, and throw her into the... And that's it. The... Uh, God. These ast... No, like these scratch-out marks, whatever they are in the writings, are really starting to get on my nerves. That part must refer to the most horrible part of the ritual. Probably some kind of sacrifice. Well, this should spur Mio and Mayu to... Only further to get out of here. Mayu, please. Thank you. Ah, let's leave this godforsaken house. Come on, let's get out of here. <gasps> uh, 
Why weren't she behind me? Mayu! No, it won't open. What do we do? There should be a key somewhere. I'll go look for it. Wait here, okay? No, don't go! Stay with me. Mayu. I'll be right back. You just promised! Yes, but there's really nothing I can do right here. I mean, do you want to get out or do you want to stay trapped there all your life? Oh. Flashback. Oh, this is Mayu calling to Mio as a kid to wait. I think this is like how she broke her leg or something. Can't hear you. She's sort of at the bottom of a ravine. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't leave me anymore. Oh gosh, she's really trying to guilt trip me right here. Back. I really will. Wait just a minute, okay? Mayu, I'm sorry, but I sort of have to leave in order to help you. Are you leaving Oh, creepy voice. That's not Mayu. At least I don't think it was. Yeah, that's it. Plot twist. Mayu turns out to be the main villain in this game all along. The ultimate evil spirit. I don't know what she was doing still in the cell. If she didn't want me to leave her, she should have been following along close behind. Floor woman. Or creaking box, whatever you want to call her. I hate how she only. I mean, I'm focusing on her, but. Only in an instant can I actually take her picture and it do any damage. It's like the camera doesn't see her, even though I'm clearly looking at her right now. You know what? I really don't feel like fighting her. I'm just gonna leave her down here with her miserable after existence. Goodbye. Which, uh, I wonder how Itsuki's doing, or Mitsuki, whichever one is, um, the boy at the storehouse. Oh god, I really don't think I'm gonna make it a full hour before I'm getting sleepy. what a long way it is back across the village. Help! Oh. Someone up here? Oh, I was directly underneath the bridge. Of course I couldn't see her. Speaking of 
speaking of which, I think I can actually go in that section of the, um, I don't remember which house it's called, but... Well, I can see her, but the camera wasn't focusing. Anyway, um... Yeah, just below that bridge, I think, was, uh, entrance to the inside of the third major house that we go into. And I could explore that part if I wanted, but, uh, you know, it's just to get some items early on, really, that's all there is. Well, considering I saw the ghost walk down this way, let's go uh, check on Itsuki right quick. Who knows, I might actually need to do that as a requirement. Butterfly Diary. Must I guess the woman I just photographed dropped it. Yai, why did you leave by yourself? It's our fault that this is happening to Itsuki. You promised we'd always be together. This is so reminiscent of Mio and Mayu. It's like Mayu just cannot do well alone. I mean, I guess I understand, but... She is awfully clingy. Come here, Yai. Oh yeah, and I forgot Izuki thinks I'm Yai. Which means I must not actually be talking to a real human being. The cell key. They keep it at the Osaka house. Break the pinwheel seal to get to the basement of that house. Search the family altar. It has some kind of mechanism. I believe I remember where that is. Don't give up. We can get out. Yeah, says you. you know, this is kind of a nice little part of the village. It doesn't seem like anything evil or dark is here. I mean, you know, the butterflies around. Uh, you kind of hear a... You know, the, I don't know what you call it, the shimmer sound <laughs> in the distance. And it almost, it almost looks like the, you know, village is enshrouded in darkness in that one little area. And I think it's safe there. I don't think uh, you can, there's any ghosts that ever appear. So I guess if you need a breather, uh, then you can always go to that area and you'll be safe. Not that there's ever really... Not that there's ever really a time where you need to actually outrun ghosts. It doesn't seem to happen in this game as often as it does Fatal Frame 1, or certainly uh, not Resident Evil, which the save rooms were, you know, definitely necessary. Uh, if you were running low on health, running low on ammo, and the zombies chasing you. Or a hunter. Let's see, I uh, believe we go upstairs. Wait, no, that's not it. Of course, we can always take a look at the map. I think the room I'm trying to get to is, yes, this one, in the middle of the hallway. Where we found the camera, actually, at the very beginning of the game. And there's some kind of, uh... Well, I thought there was a mechanism over here. Itsuki said I needed to break the pinwheel seal, whatever that means. Oh, Type Zero film, cool. That's the most powerful uh, kind. Well, huh. Maybe I needed to do something in another room first. Oh, I just happened to find a woman's notebook. Uh, we definitely could have found this uh, first time through this house, but... Sometimes I hear an eerie song-like sound coming from the family altar. Sounds like it's coming from deep below. Maybe it's just the wind. 
Maybe there really is something behind that wall. There he is. Yes, I know it's this wall that opens up. If I recall, uh, I didn't catch it. I should have immediately uh, ran behind the kimono. But, um, what it was, there was... Oh! Wait. She is here. Oh, I thought it faded after a while, but yeah, it was a ghost of a little girl or something behind the kimono. Apparently this wasn't the room either to make things happen. I'm just gonna bring up a walkthrough while uh while in the middle of playing here. And hopefully I'll Sorry, <laughs> I was trying to click on the uh, Fatal Frame 2 walkthrough bookmark. While running down the stairs. Okay, let's see, anything in here? Well, some items have appeared. Ah, uh, yes, this is the uh, function I was talking about earlier, uh, where I thought I heard a noise when the um, when you enter a fatal frame moment. But you know, this is like an additional uh, sensor that gives you a sound as well as the flashing red light. So. I can't remember if we have to equip that or not. Yeah, uh, it equips automatically. And we have quite a few uh, spirit points to spin, so let's do that now. Uh, I'm relying pretty much on Blast uh, solely right now. Um, there probably will be a particular ghost if I have trouble with one. I'll need to use the C function in order to uh, in order to keep track of them better. There were a few ghosts in Fatal Frame 1 that, you know, were bad about teleporting and getting you before you could, you know, focus your camera back on them. And let's uh, increase range. There we go. I'm glad I just happened to walk in this room. Village report. Maybe they belong to the missing surveyors. For some reason, one of the statues is in the form of twins. I have also found a description of the twin deity statue in the writings lying around the house. Village Report 2. I looked down into the old well, but it was pitch black and I couldn't see a thing. If you listen closely, you can hear wind blowing. And it seems that the water is all dried up. I can't tell. <clears throat> Village Report 3. I found a small shrine at the top of the long set of stairs, shrouded in mist. It seems very old, but it is well made and has not fallen into disrepair. The entrance has a large butterfly. Okay. Part 4. I came to this hill to take a look at the gate I passed through when I entered the village, but when I tried to find it... 
then other entries are cut out. You know, I wonder if that was actually in reference to four different items I actually need to find in order to put the puzzle, that pinwheel puzzle together in the first place. I really don't remember how it goes. Or maybe that's for a later puzzle. In any event, I'll check this one last room. Uh, over this way and if I don't find anything there I'll just uh, quit and come back yes I think this makes something happen right here maybe maybe not Phew. That woman had kind of a deformed face, didn't she? Wasn't this closet door... Um... Hmm. Yeah, I can see why you'd be reluctant to pull the cover back. I could swear that closet door was um, broken a minute ago and you couldn't get through it. But apparently something has torn it down. There's one last room over here and uh, if I can't find the way to proceed from here, well then I'll just take a look at the walkthrough and get back with you in a moment. And nothing. Okay, guys. Uh, sorry about that. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. Sorry about that. I'm back. Um, it turns out there was absolutely nothing I needed to do to trigger the puzzle in the altar room, except observe the altar more closely than I did. So, uh, yeah, I'm an idiot. Um, it's also my fault for not having the walkthrough handy in case I needed it in the first place before even starting this episode. But yeah, uh, this is an interesting puzzle. I uh, need to make four turns in order to match up. Um, well, how do I explain it? Uh, match up the colors of the petals on the outer corners to each one in the middle. So, in other words, with this top left um, rotating design, I need to... Oh, I forgot it also turns the middle one, so <laughs> probably shouldn't have done that. But let's say if the blue if the blue petal in the middle uh, circle were facing uh, top left, well then I would have the uh, top left circle matched with you know matched colors with the um, with the center circle. Let's see. I think I just might have it right here. Yep. Or didn't I? Did I not get it? Hello. Well, for some reason it's not letting me activate the puzzle again. Hear that or I, oh, there we go. Just had to open the door. Easy enough, I suppose. Keep it simple, stupid. That principle. I think I got him. Yep.
Uh, now let's see, what do we got down here? Stone mirror, well, I already got one equipped. And I heard a sound somewhere. Oh, yeah. I think if I, uh, open this box, that's where the key is, and a ghost is gonna pop out and say hello. Shocks you at this time, Mio. <laughs> I forgot uh, these ghosts. As long as I don't get too near them or make a lot of noise, and I don't think they can see me. The problem is, in this scene, she very stupidly does make a sound and gets his attention. Oh, yep, yeah, they can. It would be wise not to stand still, SK. Well, that's that. Well, back to the Kurosawa house. this oh uh, what's her name's back from the very beginning and I don't know where she came from fatal frame fatal frame uh, a little itchy uh, on the shutter button there, SK. Still just a bit too early. You know, uh, if she happens to damage me one more time and I use up my stone mirror, I can just go back below and uh, grab that one. Probably be a wise idea. Fatal frame? Oh. Well, I thought I'd, uh, see a fatal frame moment before. her name? Uh, Ayako? Miyako? Something like that? Ah, jeez, lady. 
Just go away. Oh, she took a run at me that time. Anyway, let's go back and get that stone mirror, why don't we? Or just run to the wall like an idiot. We can do that too. That's nice. Okay, and the walkthroughs tell me there's going to be a ghost appearing outside as I proceed on my way back to the Kurosawa house. Kurosawa. Having trouble pronouncing that. Yes, I would like to leave, actually. Even though this uh, house is certainly more pleasant to be in than the other one. My flashlight works and there's a lot more light. And apparently the walkthrough was uh, wrong. I see nothing. Of course, uh, I don't think I ever played through this game on, um, well, what I would call, because I'm a fan of Chrono Trigger, New Game Plus mode. I never actually played a second game over with, you know, the data from the first game. But apparently there is a uh, function you get, I believe, by beating it once, or finding it on your second time through, called the Sense function, which allows certain ghosts to appear on your next playthrough of the game that you wouldn't have found that you wouldn't have found uh, your first time. Hope oh. the drowning woman's back. And to tell you the truth, I really don't care. Goodbye. Ah! Well, I, I guess I'll let you nodge on me a little bit before I leave. How about that? Satisfied? I can't imagine the kind of pain that you do feel upon drowning. I mean, your lungs filling up with water or running out of air. And maybe I'm thinking about something morbid a little too hard. Eh, where was that door to the cellar? And, uh, the creaking box woman left. No, never mind. There's just mourners here instead. Yeah, I do remember that's what they're called. Oh, God, I think there's, like, what, three of them? This is a good opportunity to get a lot of spirit points, though, so... 
Let's put our Type 61 film into good use. Actually, no, you know what? I have a few shots of Type 90, so let's go for it. Of course, it also helps if I'm facing the right way. There goes my other stone mirror. Uh, apparently, no, there's only two of them. Good. Have at you, sir. I'm a good distance away. I can stay in place and wait for him to... Am I getting two of them in the same shot? Yep. There goes one. <laughs> I really need to learn to get my bearings. No notice where I'm at in the room before I enter uh, finder mode. Just like that. Hello, I was at the entrance to the cellar in the first place. For some reason I thought I was coming from the exit. Don't ask me why. Let's be sure not to waste our film. Okay, Mayu, I'm back. Miss me? Actually, come to think, doesn't she... Yeah, for, somehow she disappears, now that I think about it. Why? How? Your guess is as good as mine. But she left something for me. It says, run, and are you going to leave me again? In Japanese. Itsuki, I'm so sorry. I want to see you and tell you how sorry I am. I'm sorry about Cheetos, too. Mayu thinks she's writing to Mits Itsuki. They're from two different times. One, Mayu's human. And he's a ghost. That must be Itsuki telling uh, Ya inside to escape. They're running very, very slowly. Oh, come on, it's just sheer convenience that you actually fell and broke your leg at a time like that. I didn't even see you trip on anything. But luckily we have a psychic vision of where am I is going next. The butterflies are going to the Curry House, I believe. Yes, I think that's the name of the third um house is Kuryu. 
Well, let's make sure there's uh, nothing left back here. Nope. Okay, well, in that case, guys, this looks like a good place to uh, stop the episode, and I'll see you next time when we go exploring the third house, Curry. See you later.